Hey everybody, welcome to the next game that I'm going to play, which is XCOM Enemy Unknown. Now, I've been wanting to play this game for a while. It is a turn-based strategy game, sort of comparable to games like um, Valkyria Chronicles for PlayStation 3. Yet, of course, the XCOM was a very old franchise in the 90s, and this was basically the remake or reboot of that game. And how many people play this on YouTube is since you get random recruits that you can rename uh, and customize, a lot of people on YouTube play this game and they let their subscribers choose the names that they want, you know, to, to call the, the members. And you get really funny, sometimes really horrible sexist uh, or sexual names and stuff for some, but I wanted to do that too. But apparently this game is very difficult, it punishes you, especially if you've never played the game. You can actually make really bad choices that halfway through the game you realize, oh I fucked up so badly, I'm absolutely screwed in this mission. Um, I've never played this game, I've only played like the first two missions to kind of get everything in order and, and see the graphic settings and everything. So I realized that my first wave of soldiers will probably not last long. And since I thought it would be a waste maybe for you guys to name the first wave and they'll die pretty fast, I thought it was maybe a good idea to call the first wave uh, after myself and some of the people that I uh, have done Let's Plays with, so you know, Spartacus and stuff. I thought that would be, uh, would be very cool to do. Um, unfortunately, though I can customize appearance and things like voice, I cannot um, customize... Uh, country where somebody's from so hopefully uh, that will work there are a lot of countries available in this game unfortunately one of the members that I want to add is from uh, well is he's from Holland but he's part uh, Lebanese and unfortunately Lebanon is not in the game as a choosable uh, country so I have to do something else I have to uh, I think I looked up that it's Arabian or in the Middle East so the, the, the language in Lebanon is, is, is Arabian, so maybe Saudi Arabia is in this game, so maybe <laughs> though it's not the same, I should use that. Let's see. Enable tutorial, yes. We'll play it on normal, which is a familiar tactical and challenging but fair. I heard that uh, even on this, you will actually quite die easily. You can be overwhelmed very easily in this game, I heard. It is very cool, though. I'm looking forward to this, since it's very deep. Possibilities exist. Either we are alone in the universe, or we are not. Both are equally terrifying. Arthur C. Clark. It's kind of like a uh, War of the Worlds kind of scenario. So there are also certain classes that you can take, like Sniper, Heavy Assault, Support. What's that? Why the fuck would you touch that, dude? Why would you touch that? It came from the sky. I wouldn't, I wouldn't touch that. An extraterrestrial incursion. This Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. XCOM project! You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. Yeah, there are all choices that you can make and stuff. It's very cool. You keep that in mind as you proceed. Big music! Good luck, Commander. Thank you, sir! 
XCOM Enemy Unknown Konoha Edition. Actually, since I wanted to add. Hello? That was the last transmission, sir. Patch me through to Voodoo 3 1. So since, uh, so it's pretty cool. So since there are a lot of countries, you were oh god. To Germany. At 1900 hours Zulu, several unidentified objects fell to Earth. After ruling out the possibility of a downed satellite, we now believe these objects to be extraterrestrial in nature. I came from the sky, dude. Duh. German officials received reports of mass hysteria and freak weather around one of the impact zones. Then things went dark. At 2100 hours. A chopper carrying a German military recon team went down in the area after they reported being fired upon. As you know, Germany is a member of the Council, and they have requested our assistance. Our mission is to assess the situation on the ground, ascertain the current status of the German recon team, and investigate the extraterrestrial objects. Central out. So I figured that uh, I would call myself Commander Max. Since I uh, I want to add Kanoa as one of the members as well, and it would be weird to have both Kanoa in the squad and as a commander. And since in the uh, recent Q and A, people also ask what my real name was. My real name is Max, so Commander Max. And we're going uh, Berlin, Germany. Let's uh, figure out what we're dealing with. I, I already know. Looks like we found the crash site. Roger, Voodoo three one. Any sign of activity? Negative. Nothing's moving down there. Okay. Set her down nearby. Here we go, and it's really cool because you fought you fight in a lot of different countries, and sometimes you need to choose in which country or which country you help because there's only time to help one, and it will better the relationship with one country or continent, but would worsen your relationship with the other. Now this squad is always the same. I have no control over them. Spoiler: they will they will die. Central. You getting all this? Copy that, Delta You can squad. see that the girls from uh, first Japan, first. Let's get you right one's from Russia. To cover. Don't know the other two. Did this could still be out there. Delta one, take point. Take cover behind that debris directly in front of you. So here I have no choice, I have to do what the guy says. Yeah, Jesus Christ. What the guy says. Soldier can move up to two times per turn. Number of remaining moves is indicated by the soldier's flag. So, now you can see here vehicle nearby. that I can move one more time. And what this yellow roster means is that I can move here, but I cannot do any a action after that. So I couldn't shoot or throw a grenade or whatever. If I move here, I'm stuck. Delta two, your turn. Move up to the debris. Whereas if I would move within this blue roster, I could still do an action afterward. But if I would, for example, do this, she would already be out of moves. Or he, that thing isn't in this going case. To you much cover, but it's better than nothing. There's full cover straight ahead. Advance to that position. Delta 3, move to that vehicle dead ahead. Central, I have movement. 30 meters north of my position. Look at that, the Who's number here? plate has the... Proceed to the next vehicle for a better vantage point. EU sign and a D for for the, the German license plate. It's really cool. Nice stench to detail. Delta 4, go check it out. It's a long way from your position, and there's no available cover between here and there. So you better... Ah, yeah, Polizei, yeah? Holy hell. What do you see, Delta 4? Report. Looks like one of the recon teams, sir. It looks like something. <laughs> Is that your man, Delta 4? Negative, sir. That's someone else. Helfa! <laughs> Dr. Valen, what's he saying? Help me! Oh! Help me! As a Dutch person, it's pretty easy to understand. Of the squad's current position, based on its strength, probably from inside a structure. Thank you, Doctor. Delta, advance and infiltrate that building, and remember, stay in yeah. cover. Yeah. So here's what exciting. So if I would move, uh, I mean, in the yellow, it will consume both two flags, and I wouldn't be able to do any other move. His name is Sergio Delgado. I don't know where he's from, though. Central, 
I got a lot of blood here. Roger. Central, I think I just found another one of the recon team. Oh, what's left? Oh, look at that wolf behind this him. This doesn't make sense. Looks like he's been dead for a week. Even more perplexing is the cause of death. It appears that he was eviscerated when something burst out of him from the inside. Sir, I have visual on it's the like object. alien. Permission to approach. It's the only cover between you and that building. Permission granted. Talk to me, soldier. What is it? I got no idea what this thing is, but I can confirm that it's no satellite. Roger. All right, Delta Squad. You're almost to the building. Keep moving. Run, girl. What's okay, her name? People. Cameron. No, wait. This is Delta One. There's a window in front of you. Let's take a look. All right. Let's go here. It's pretty cool because you get some view of inside the building. Copy that. Get in there and get to cover. I'm sure there's some. Two. That door's in our way. Some pretty good environmental interaction. Like all of this Solid can be copy. destroyed and everything. Not a lot of physics though, but whatever. Dashing through. Oh, here we go. We have contact. Central, we have eyes on the target. He's armed. Copy, Delta 3. Okay, everyone. Get into position nearby, but do not approach. Doctor, see if you can communicate with him. Tell him to drop his weapon. I will try. Hello. Können Sie mich hören? Okay. <laughs> That's written wrong. I here to Ihnen zu helfen. Bitte lassen Sie Ihre Waffen fallen. Können Sie to be in shock. uns hören? It was written different. Your eyes open, people. Wrong. I don't like the looks of this. Which, by the way, if you were Dutch, the hören, <laughs> in that sense, means whores. I think you correctly write it in German with a an O and then the two dots above it, which in German is called Umlaut. Delta three, move in and disarm him carefully. Oh. What's going to happen? I love how he doesn't say anything like drop the grenade. Control. What the hell is you going on? Delta three is down. Delta three is down. And there you go. He's down. Delta one is down. So, so yeah, this might happen to my first wave of soldiers as well. Got me pinned down, taking heavy fire. Oh, whoops. Delta two, your flank two. Find some better cover. All right, Delta two. Weapons free. Get no. ready to fire. Knock a fire. Here you can see everything. So 84% to hit in general and 60% chance of a critical damage. You know, I've never missed this in tutorial, so I figured that this is 100% in this case. Nice shot. Delta four, you're freed up to move. Get out of there and get into cover. Now toss your grenade at the enemy in front of you. So we choose the grenade option, which I can use, I think, once every mission. For the characters that have the grenade then. And I throw. Take this bitch! For Japan! Bam! Now get ready for their counterattack. Look out, Delta Four. There's another one coming in behind you. Uh, for Japan. So this is pretty much all oh, automatically. This is this is what happens every time. Look around for a position where you can flank the enemy. They not all die. This guy survives, and he's like your main character, I guess. 
which I am actually not going to rename him. You can rename any of the characters every time. I can even change the look of this guy, but since he's already in one mission and he has a certain name, I'm gonna call him Delgado. He will be uh, the main guy, I guess. You can have up to six people in one squad. Not in the beginning though, but eventually, so... It's a good number. Central, I think that's it. It's over. Roger that, Delta. Secure the bodies and head back to the Sky Ranger for immediate extraction. We are not alone. Alright, it's pretty cool. So, identify base location. So we get to choose here where our base uh, belongs, and we can choose, in this case, North America or Europe. Well, since I'm from Holland, Europe, obviously. Actually, it does give you, like, expert knowledge. Laboratories and workshops cost 50% less to build and maintain. When I would do North America, all aircraft and aircraft weapon cost 50%. You know, America, you know, of course it's going to do with weapons, but fuck that. We are coming home. Whatever they are, they nearly took out a squad of our best soldiers. If you'll excuse me, doctors, the commander is waiting in mission control. Come on, Mox! Their technology is far beyond ours. Then I'd say our work is cut out for us, Doctor. Herr Doctor! Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. Thank I'm you. Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations, and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. So it's really cool, if one of your characters dies, they get like a funeral, proper funeral, they have like a memorial place where you can see what they, what they achieved in life. So this is pretty much the, the base, and we only have now access to only like barracks in the main room. Uh, but eventually, you'll unlock new rooms that have like new abilities and new options and stuff. So, very cool, Commander, very deep. The soldier is waiting for you in the armory, which is located there in the barracks. So, these are the soldiers that I get automatically. Now, as I said before, the there are several classes, but the ironic part is that it's randomly selected what class the people are. So, um. For example, here, this guy now is a heavy, but when everybody starts at level zero, you don't know yet what kind of class they are. When they level up, that's when they uh, get a random uh, class uh, assigned. Oh, this guy's always heavy. Only one recruit from Delta Squad made it back alive from our last mission, Commander, and I'd say a promotion is in order. As you know, Commander, every soldier is different. So this here, particular soldier you can upgrade. And now this guy has a fire rocket, which fires. We should continue his well, training along these lines. It's pretty self-explanatory, you know. This soldier will now carry a rocket launcher in addition to his standard weapon. The aliens won't know what hit him. Mm-hmm. Oh, Doctor Volan asked to see you in the research labs, Commander. It sounded important. Okay. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. I want to mention one thing. So, the mission after this is also still going to be a um, tutorial mission. And since I know that some of the people that I work with want to be, for example, a sniper or something, I'm probably going to wait um, until I've unlocked some more classes and then I will change their names. Um, and. Uh, get them in my team but for example Spartacus you know he's Dutch he uh, so also I'll, I'll pick this guy oh, it's a girl isn't it yeah okay maybe that's not not really what we want actually this is Egypt if I'm not mistaken I'm, I've also been thinking of using him uh, for the Lebanese guy 
And we have, well, you know, we have a lot of Americans, so if we're shy, 